Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Heavy Assault class in Planetside 2. And right off the bat, you can see that my class has a energy projectile. This is basically a rocket launcher equivalent because I'm playing Vanu, it shoots a, a giant plasma ball. But if I were playing T Terran Republic or New Conglomerate, I would have a rocket launcher in place. Now this specific gun here is called the Solar One or the S1. And uh, it does devastating damage against vehicles and maxes, and it'll definitely take out infantry too. If you get a straight shot on any infantry, it's a one-shot kill. It is a one-shot kill on the lighter fighter aircraft, and as you can see, I just took out a mosquito right there, and here comes another mosquito. I don't know what the heck he's doing, but he pretty much lands on the pad, giving me an easy shot there. Now when you're not using your rocket launcher, the Heavy Assault has a light machine gun starting off standard with 100 rounds in a magazine and this is the Orion light machine gun. It's a pretty versatile weapon and I've got a foregrip attached to this. Eventually I start I attach a foregrip on here and the light machine gun started off in beta as being very very inaccurate weapons only effective in extreme close quarters but their accuracy has been adjusted so now they're much more lethal at medium ranges. And right now this battle's taking place on Latam Biolab. And these biolabs are these massive structures kind of elevated in the air with lots of weird organic stuff going on on the inside. And there's two major flight decks on the outside. And that's what I'm standing on right now. And these are sort of the popular entryways for infantry and uh, aircraft and vehicles to get in. And I was lining up a shot there and for some reason one of our fighters just collided with that one. And this is where all the fighters hang out because there's lots of infantry here and this guy is just hovering a little bit too steady giving me an easy shot with the Solar One. Alright so the Heavy Assault has got a light machine gun and a rocket launcher, two fairly straightforward things but it actually has a pretty cool ability uh, that really allows it to last a lot longer in combat and that is called the Nanite Mesh Generator. Now you're going to see me activate it here in a second. There's a guy down in the jungle here and I'm glowing green right now. That's because I've activated it. You can hit F on the keyboard or you can map it to uh, say a thumb button on your mouse which is what I've done. And this will basically allow you to last a little bit longer in combat. It's a shield that when active will absorb damage for you. Now it can only absorb a tiny bit of damage but usually that's enough to allow you to win most stand up firefights as long as you're not up against another heavy assault. Now that little blue bar left to my targeting reticle in the center of the screen is slowly recharging. That's basically the power that the Nanite Mesh Generator takes. So it recharges relatively quickly but you can't just equip it all the time. You really have to save it for the appropriate situations. Now we're still fighting in Aladdin Biolab. These battles are really fun because the Biolab is elevated. You can't get any sort of ground vehicles in there. Air vehicles can land on the landing pads on the outside, but they can't actually get into the Biolab itself. So it basically turns into a massive infantry battle and Heavy Assault does really well in infantry combat. Now like all the classes in Planetside, each class has a lot of different unlocks allowing you to play it a bit differently. The Heavy Assault gets a bunch of cool upgrades, especially to the Nanite Mesh Generator. One of the upgrades allows you to regenerate it faster every time you kill an enemy. So basically the more action you see the faster it regenerates and can kind of create a Rambo like effect where you can just keep activating your shield as long as you're getting kills or you can activate the shield enter a combat situation and just get a huge amount of kills and your shield will just stay active for a really long time absorbing a ton of damage. Now of course you're not going to be invincible in fact a grenade or a rocket to the face will definitely end any sort of killing spree that you have. And speaking of grenades the heavy assault actually gets a few class specific grenades that uh, can be kind of interesting. One of them is an anti-vehicle grenade which does significant damage to vehicles. It's uh, kind of a weird attachment I think because you already have the rocket launcher so why throw a grenade at a vehicle but I suppose you could equip it in addition to having the rocket launcher in case you just wanted one extra way of hitting a vehicle or say a vehicle was hiding behind a rock and you wanted to just chuck a grenade over that rock now you've got an anti-vehicle grenade. You can also get a massive concussion grenade which disorients uh, enemies and can uh, basically make it much easier to clean them up. And of course the Heavy Assault also gets the usual C4 attachment that most classes seem to have as an option. So if you really just want some up close personal uh, 
explosives that will take out vehicles, C4 is also an option. Now as you play Planetside more and more, you will be generating more Araxium, that's the blue resource over my mini-map, and uh, you get this from fighting battles, killing infantry, uh, and holding points that generate Araxium for your empire. Now once you get enough Araxium, you can actually buy different kinds of rocket launchers for the heavy assault. One of the first rocket launchers available is a lock-on rocket launcher for ground vehicles. Basically, this will allow you to lock on to vehicles very far away that are moving, and this thing should basically hit them unless they have some sort of countermeasure like smoke equipped, which will make the rocket miss. But uh, this can be very helpful for hitting those long-range targets, which are otherwise very hard to line up. Now you can also buy a rocket launcher for the heavy assault class that locks onto air vehicles and this really changes up the role that the heavy assault can play in a army. It turns you into an anti-air role which is actually very important because planet side can sometimes feel like an air dominated game. Uh, especially in the beginning or whenever they do a char character wipe, which is happening a lot in the beta servers right now. They set reset characters and all of a sudden nobody has their anti-air rocket launchers. And it's interesting to see how the game changes because right now air is kind of dominating because no classes have any of their anti-air stuff unlocked yet. So air kind of has free reign. But as soon as you start unlocking those anti-air rocket launchers, it gives infantry a fighting chance against liberators and um, the smaller attack aircraft. So all in all, the heavy assault is actually quite versatile. It can be geared as a very heavy anti-infantry class for running in, taking out maxes, taking out tons of infantry. It can also be designed for taking out different kinds of vehicles from air to ground. Um, and you can have dumbfire rockets, lock-on rockets, depending on what kind of class you want. I have a feeling the dumbfire rockets are going to be some of the more popular uh, rocket launchers just in general, but if you are getting dominated by the air, then you can definitely respawn that anti-air rocket launcher and sort of change the role of your class. Now with the current way that things are set up, you're going to be seeing a lot of heavy assaults because Planet Sight is a very vehicle intensive game and heavy assault is the most effective class against any vehicles. Now engineers get stuff like anti-vehicle mines and whatnot, but there's uh, not a lot that can compete with just a good solid rocket launcher for taking out vehicles. Now what's cool about this clip here is that we're having a mini offensive on the seabed listening post and there was no good spawn points nearby so I drove a senderer down and it's really allowed it like an entire, uh, an entire small army to spawn off the sender and assault this base. Now we are kind of getting overrun here because uh, our army isn't very big and they have a lot of defense here and eventually a liberator just comes in and starts hammering the sender. You can see its health going down. But all in all, the Heavy Assault class is one of the more useful classes and as a result, one of the more popular classes. So you're going to be running into them a lot and you're probably going to be seeing me playing a lot once this game gets out of beta and we all start playing tactical. Uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of room for playing Heavy Assault. I hope you guys enjoyed this little intro video to the Heavy Assault class. Remember to rate the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.